The drive nut is a piece of quarter inch thick brass with a 1 quarter by 20 TPI hole threaded in it to fit on the drive screw. A brass spur gear, a quarter inch thick, serves as a backlash nut. An idler gear locks the backlash nut once it's adjusted. First, the backlash nut is installed. Faster. Then the drive nut is installed with the backlash idler gear loosely attached. This is the adjustable bearing for the precision slide. It's placed here now so the slide can be installed. But first, a bracket must be attached to the slide for connecting it to the drive nut. The bracket surface that contacts the drive nut should be perpendicular to the slide. The slide is installed at maximum retraction where the bracket hits the frame. And the drive nut is snugged against it. A pair of 632 button head screws fasten the slide bracket to the drive nut.
the connection is free of lateral stresses. Now the upper slide bearings can be installed. and a 100 tooth spur gear on the end will minimize overrun with an ordinary servo motor. It's a little snug but smooth. Finally, the backlash on the drive screw is adjusted out by snugging down the backlash nut and locking it in place by clamping down the idler gear. No detectable slop. I guess it works. In the next vid, a cheap RC servo will be hacked to use on the drive mechanism. And thanks.